Today I want to show you how I remove a price sticker from an item I want to sell on Amazon. I usually use just four tools, sometimes only two. I use a heat gun, I use a Scotty peeler, I use goo gun, and I use paper towels. So I will show you how I do it. So I've got this item here, got on clearance at Walmart, price sticker up here in the corner. Sometimes I'll just try to remove this by itself with the Scotty peeler, but a lot of times this starts to break up into little pieces. So what I do is I take the heat gun and I heat up the price sticker. Heat it up for just a second, take the Scotty peeler, and I'm able to peel it off very easily. Sometimes it, the price sticker will come off a little bit. So the price sticker is now gone, except there's a little bit of sticky residue still left on the item. So what I'll do is I'll take paper towel, and I like to choose a sheet or choose a size kind because I don't ever need a full paper towel. In fact, I don't even need this. I usually cut this in half, fold it into a square, take the goo gun, put a little spray of goo gun on, and then I take that and I rub it on the sticky residue. I take the other half of the paper towel to dry it off, and voila, an item with no more price sticker on it, and it is removed, and there's no sticky residue. Now, when you are removing a price sticker from an item, you need to make sure that you are very careful. A couple things to worry about. Make sure that you do not get too much of this heat on your skin. That will burn you. Also, if you start using the heat gun for a while, this area right here starts to get very hot and will stay hot for a long time because it's, it's metal. So, I don't know if you can even see this on the video, but there is a scar right here because once upon a time, I, yes, it, it hurt really, really bad. I burned myself. Another thing to think about, sometimes stores will put price tags on plastic, whether it's a plastic window or maybe it's a blister pack, but they'll put that on there. So what you want to do is be very careful because if too much heat is applied to the plastic, it will melt it and will warp the plastic and your item can no longer be sold as new. So you want to be careful, turn on the heat gun, get a little bit. When you see a little bit of warping of the plastic, you stop and then you can go in with your Scotty peeler to get that started and be able to peel off the sticker fairly easily without having to ruin the plastic or the cardboard area as well. And once again, there's some plastic, uh, there's some sticky residue on there. So I wanna make sure I get this, wipe it up really well. And sometimes there's actually some sticky residue still on there, so I'll take the Scotty peeler and I might could scrape the rest of it off and, and then clean it off, dry it off, and there you go. Price sticker is removed, the plastic is still in good shape, not warped, and it's ready to be sent to Amazon. So I hope this has been helpful, and I hope that you've been able to know how to remove a price sticker now without messing up the box, without warping the plastic if it's on there, and now you're ready to send your stuff to Amazon. For more information, be sure you go to fulltimefba.com forward slash sticker and you'll be able to find where I have all of these items, where I found them, where you can get them to, and, and even some more bonus tips that I'm not even talking about in this video. So go to fulltimefba.com forward slash sticker for more. And while you're there, be sure you're subscribed to the blog, fulltimefba.com. We have over 100 blog posts to help you turn part-time hours into a full-time income on Amazon FBA. If you have a comment or a question, you can leave that below. I can't wait to hear from you and see you at the blog, fulltimefba.com. Have a great day.